Hello YouTube. Hi, my name is Mark and this is Nixon Motorsports. This channel is all about motorsports from racing to exotic cars and even simulators. Today's video, this will be a fast lap at Motorsport Ranch in Crescent, Texas. So before we get into the fast lap at Motorsport Ranch, um, Look, uh, we're, not the, we're not the fastest. Um, we're about two seconds off the pace of the very front runners. So that's quite a bit. Um, but I thought it still makes sense to show this video and you'll see a progression over time. Um, we ran a one minute 11.4, I think, our fastest. And, um, you know, the front runners cracked into the high nines, so the 109. Um, just to put it in perspective, right? But um, anyway, I'll get in the car. I'll show you, uh, again, this single lap. I'll come back afterwards, and then we'll talk about it. So that is a single lap around uh, Motorsport Ranch. Let me talk about it just for a little bit. Um, outside of just getting to grip with the track itself, um, trying to get heat in the tires in such cold weather, those are challenges, of course. But I did notice, I and if you saw this on video, I, I had um, a very difficult time to get power down, to get on throttle. Um, as fast as needed. There are those two off-camber rising elevation left-hand turns, if you notice them on the track. And um, for myself, I saw this with a few other uh, Formula cars as well, but regardless, for myself, I had a very difficult time uh, to get the car to pivot, turn, you know, rotate, stay on track, but more appropriately, get on throttle, um, get on power very, very quick. I was not able to do that. I had to manage throttle input uh, through both of those corners. Um, and uh, once once I was able to get the car, um, let's say coming you know to terms um, in each of those corners, I was able to get on throttle, but very gently and carefully. I'm sure I lost a lot of time uh, just on those two particular corners. Um, but the rest of the track, for the most part, um, once tires got up to temperature, uh, the rest of the track was, was not uh, that difficult, actually. Um, 
just a little more uh, refinement of line, um, breaking points, turn in, that type of thing. Um, if, if you haven't been at Motorsport Ranch, you know, go check it out. It's a member's track uh, in Crescent, Texas. Um, a lot of cars, formula and sports car and bikes are members out there at the facility. Um, really nice folks, nice people, all of that. So if you don't, if you don't know that about MSR, okay. You know, so I, many of you know this, right? Um, it never, uh, it's never the same for every driver on every track. Um, number one, some tracks just work for um, one driver where they don't work for another, um, right? No, normal stuff. And clearly more seat time you have on any track, you're going to pick up speed. You know, so our home track at Eagles Canyon, um, you know, we're at the track record pace here. Um, and um, if not track record, we're, we're tied with somebody, but I think we are um, the fastest on the track out here. Look, we got a thousand laps on, on this track out here and constant tests and tuning. So that, that, that happens. Motorsport Ranch, um, this last uh, weekend running out there, uh, we just showed up, um, put fuel in the car, and drove. Uh, we didn't do we didn't do any changes to the car. We didn't do anything. Um, one, it was extremely cold, <laughs> so we just were focused on staying warm and trying to get some heat in the tires. But um, you know, so getting within two seconds of the uh, the very front um, and probably track record times, you know, I, I think that was. Um, that was acceptable on my part. So you might ask, well, so I showed you this, my, my fast lap of a 111. Um, when am I going to improve that? You know, I'll probably go back and run MSR at some point. Um, uh, it's not my first go-to track. Um, it's not on my, my to-do list, uh, to be pretty candid with you. Um, right now, I'm focusing on, on prepping the car for Circuit of the Americas. So um, next February, we'll be running there. It will be a, um, a large event, probably a 1,000 race cars or more. Um, and it's a once-a-year event at COTA. And um, I've raced there twice before, but it's been a couple years. So uh, we've developed the car quite a bit. I'm, I'm looking forward to, um, to seeing what kind of performance we can do at uh, Circuit of the Americas next February. So stay tuned, obviously, you'll see videos through that. I'll drag you along um, so, so you're there with us, okay? Okay, that's it for this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so, will you? Um, we're trying to get to that magic 1,000 number. Um, so I would appreciate that. Tell your, fan, your friends, you know, leave comments, uh, suggestions, thoughts, and so on. Um, but that's it for now. And um, until next time, ciao.